Erdogan has run a, an economy on, on hot in an electoral cycle. Growth has been too high, which has pumped inflation uh, higher and also pumped import growth, which has meant a higher current account and trade deficit, which feeds into a weaker currency and then back into inflation. So the economy needs slowing, needs higher rates, probably tighter fiscal policy also. I mean, this is a, a fine line to tread, a difficult line to tread, isn't it? Because President Erdogan has said that he will stick with the policies from his last term. So how significant uh, would a move away from those be? Well, you're right. I mean, Erdogan has certainly banged the unorthodox policy agenda, the idea that high interest rates cause inflation from an economics perspective. That's gobbledygook. That's not reality. Um, and But I think, you know, he, he, he could argue that uh, he ran in the election campaign on on that agenda. Uh, he won the election, so he's been vindicated to a degree. He now has a lot of political capital, though, and I think the reality is those around him will be telling him that, uh, you know, continuing this policy uh, risks pushing the Turkish economy over a cliff of maxi devaluation and then potential systemic problems, particularly in the banks. So I think, you know, he, he won the election, he, he ran this policy in the run-up election, he won the election on the back of the policies. Now I think he the economic reality is kind of hitting him and he needs to tighten policy. And I think hiring Shimshek and likely changes at the central bank, we'll see an orthodox policy. Uh, you know, Shimshek talks about rational. It's another word for orthodoxy, which means higher rates. And President Erdogan's uh, economic policies uh, from the previous term obviously led to soaring inflation, a crash in, in the lira, the currency. Uh, does Turkey need this to change? Well, it does. I mean, reserves, you know, they, they apparently they blew something like 25 billion in reserves defending the currency. In the run-up to the elections, the central bank's currency reserve chest is pretty bare at the moment. Net international reserves are probably significantly negative. They just can't sustain this any longer. Uh, they have to let the currency find its own level. Obviously, weak currency passes through to inflation. You know, you have to respond to that higher inflation with higher rates of slow growth to, to kind of uh, moderate inflation. So I think there's no choice. And the risk of continuing with these policies is of this maxi devaluation cycle. And then people lose confidence fundamentally in money and the banks. And there's a danger then of run on banks and the collapse of the banking system going back to the period 2000, 2001, where Turkey had the last banking crisis. So I think they have to act now. Um, there's no alternative. Uh, Erdogan kind of recognised that, I guess, with the appointment of Shimshek. Timothy, uh, good to talk to you. Thanks for joining us today. That's uh, Timothy Ash My from pleasure. Blue Bay Asset Management.